Hi, this is Carl the Cobra Frutch, and you're watching Lights Out. This is Fessel Khan for Lights Out, proudly sponsored by Spartans Law. We're here at the Box Park Arena here in Wembley for this Saturday night's huge show on Sky Sports Boxing where Dan Aziz will take on Josh Boatsy and on that card will feature none other than Mr Ben Whitaker. Ben, good afternoon brother, how you doing mate? All good, thanks yourself. I'm alright, thank you very much for asking. Uh, ben, firstly, how's the training camp and preparation gone for Saturday night's fight mate? Yeah, training camp is training camp, you know, uh, that's what you're supposed to do, get in there, work hard, learn and on to the next so that's what it was we're back to fight week now get the performance done and then on to the next one of the most flamboyant figures in boxing right now a lot of showcasing going on review in the ring um you know you've got a lot of people on their feet just talk to us about 2024 what will be the main target for you in this year uh, the main target for me is there's many things really of course a winning year uh, more performances building building my platform and a title on the way so if we just keep ticking all those boxes we're going to 2025 as some hopefully some big fights either domestic or world level and then we take it from there how would you assess how your career has gone so far ben it's been all right like i said the stop and starts with injuries and little things like that that i can't really help really but at the end of the day it's been okay five fights four knockouts some decent performances but you can't dwell on the past we're in the future you gotta look to the future now and that's where Saturday comes and hopefully perform well there and then we can move on. Some people at the early stages of their career like to put on statements, perhaps get knockout. Some people like to get rounds under their belt. Is it a case of a bit of everything with you? Yeah, I know what I can do when I get to the top level. So for me, it's just win, really. Win, look good while doing it. And if it's a knockout, it's a knockout. If it's a win, it's a win. That's all that matters. But like I said, you can do, you can do all the flashy stuff. If you lose, you get forgotten about. So win's all that matters. I have to ask you a question and please don't think I'm shit steering or anything but a guy in your division I know pretty well because he lives not far from me, Michael Stevenson. That's a fight that's been talked about. I believe he's got the central area title, I think. I mean, firstly, how comes that fight's not been able to be made and is that a fight you're going to be targeting after Saturday night? Uh, not really. Uh, I think we sent him three contracts. He wanted a bit more money or wanted something like that but we have actually we had a bit of banter in real life. He's a nice guy. He's got the central area title hopefully he can move on for a better title and he does well for his career if he keeps winning who knows but central area is something i'm not looking for really well listen if it's if it's meant to be it's meant to be that's the way i see it you're a very confident guy and i believe in an interview with talk sport yesterday you said that you're capable of beating boatsy and aziz right now now it's all about finding your feet in boxing but do you believe that you're ready to sort of push yourself up to that level right now so early on in your career ben yeah it's one of those things a lot of people say oh confident if you, if, you can't, if you don't believe you can beat those guys, why are you in the sport? Do you know what I mean? Uh, I think you should. But it's not believing it, I know it. I know with a bit more experience, of course, a few more, a bit more experience under the lights, more tough sparring, more, more tough fights, maybe. I'll beat them guys, but skill-wise, I can beat them now. Fair enough, I love the confidence, Ben. Um, I've got to ask you, what's the case with uh, Sugar Hill? Is he going to be here on Saturday night or is he still going to be out in camp with Tyson Fury? Yeah, we've been talking through camp and whatnot. Uh, he's out in Saudi doing the camp there. It's a big fight, so I said, just focus on that fight. I've got my godfather with me that did the whole camp and my dad, so I'm happy where I am right There's now. There's a lot of, lot of noise coming from that camp, rumours of Jay Opatire dropping Tyson Fury and sparring, uh, John Fury saying that he's not happy with how camp's gone, etc, etc, etc. But do you think that Sugar Hill and Tyson Fury get the job done when they get in the ring, when Fury gets in the ring with Usyk? And how, from your side of things, how do you think the camp has gone so far for Tyson? Like I said, I wasn't there, so I don't know. But all these rumours, if it, if it did happen, it happened. A lot of people always, he got dropped. It's boxing, what do you expect? It's like football. You expect a goal, it's going to happen, but at the end of the day, that's what sparring's for, that's what camp's for, your ups, your downs, you try and sort things out. Camp will no, never always be the smooth sailing camp, and at the end of the day, all that matters is fight night, so hopefully on the night they can get it done. It's tough ask, 50-50 fight, but you've got to root for the Brit. Pretty sure you know Tyson very well because obviously you're coached by the same trainer. Uh, the performance against Francis and Garn, who wasn't a great one, but he got the job done. Do you believe that we're going to see the best version of Tyson Fury come fight night in Saudi Arabia? Hopefully. It could have been one of those things. Maybe overlooked him as a UFC guy. You saw him on the pads. He didn't look the best. So if I'm just going to go in there and do what I do. 
felt a shot and thought, what's going on here? Or oh, it's so awkward, it's different, but that's boxing. But the main thing is he won. Imagine if he performed like that and lost, it would be a completely different situation. But uh, I know if it was me, you got to switch on differently, you know, and you got Usyk. I'm sure that's what it will do. And hopefully it's a career best performance. One final one, just give us a prediction for Saturday night's main event between Josh Boatsy and Dan Aziz. Two undefeated fighters, two very good fighters. Who comes out on top on Saturday night, Ben? All I know is someone's always got to go and made the best man win. Man, ben Whitaker, thank you very much and best of luck for Saturday. Night. Thank you.